welcome and today we'll be dealing with this Epson EcoTank ET2550. I'm no stranger to shitting all over this printer. In my last video I gave you every which reason under the sun why not to buy this printer. And today we'll be dealing with the most largely unserviceable ink pad issue. It's a problem where the printer errors out because it tells you that the ink pad is at the end of its serviceable life. The Epson utility does let you reset it for, I don't know, a few pages, but then it goes right back to the error state and you can't print and then you can't use your printer. If you go on Epson's website, they basically tell you to throw this in the ocean and buy a new printer. So f*** you Epson, it's a dickhead printer designed by a bunch of dickheads. Thank you very much. You all probably already know this, but I'm going to show you anyways. So you hit the power button. An ink pad needs service. Contact Epson and they'll tell you to throw in the ocean. There are two halves to this issue. The physical and the bullshit. In the physical problem, we have an ink pad that is saturated with ink. And that is a problem we can actually fix. The other half of the problem is the bullshit, which is a chip that counts how many pages you print over the course of the life of this printer. And if it exceeds the pages, Epson sends a big fat middle finger directly to you and you can no longer print unless you reset the chip. You want to avoid tipping the printer so that the ink doesn't spill out. With this back cover removed, there's a little tab that we press in. I guess we will break it and then we will pull out the ink pad container. There it is. Next, we will wash these ink pads. Don't get the ink on anything you like because you won't be able to remove it. I sure wish I had some rubber gloves, but this will have to do. Then we dry them. And then we try to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. No, wrong arrangement, hold up. There, that looks, that looks a little more correct. It's a puzzle. Uh, yeah, I love Epson puzzles. They're my favorite puzzle. My favorite $300 puzzle. There, a big brain fix. And now it's time for the bullshit half of this problem, which is resetting the ink pad counter in your printer. So you Google search your printer's model number with the keyword ink pad reset. You have many options. I chose wick.support. I can't vouch whether it has viruses or not, but it did work. It did work and so far my laptop's okay. So you download the latest WIC version and you install it on your computer. Once you launch it, um, it'll search for your printer. You have to connect your printer through USB to your computer. And then it will tell you to disable Epson Status Monitor 3, whatever that means. Um, you reach that by going to your printer settings, going to preferences, and then once you are in there, you hit the management tab. Inside the management tab, there is a button for Epson Monitor 3. I clicked it, it didn't do anything, so I just decided to not bother with it. So once you hit continue, it asks you, what do you want to do? I want to reset my ink pad counter. Once you press that, it asks you for a key. There's a button you press and it takes you to the purchasing page. I used PayPal and withheld as much personal information as possible. And once you, pro once it processes the payment, a little, the key will appear in the bottom right hand corner of the page. You press OK, it does its thing, then it tells you to power cycle the printer off and then back on again, and theoretically it should work again. And so we followed the directions and let's see what happens. Well, I'll be damned, look at that. Seems to be happy again. 
And now to test it out. Wow. Great. I mean, we've got some lines missing, but okay, who cares? And so there you have it. In spite of the inherent tremendous risk of going to strange foreign websites and putting in your payment info, it seems to have worked out okay for me. I used PayPal to kind of protect my finances in case it was some kind of phony, but I don't think it was. I make no implied warranties about whether or not there's viruses in this or whether it'll catch your computer on fire or steal all your credit card information and all your personal information. I just don't really know. Use it for reference only. Use it at your own risk. And I accept no responsibility if a strange forum website throws you into the ocean. You and your credit cards. And so that kind of closes the loop now on my complaint video, and now I have a fix video. I have heard, though not confirmed, that Epson has fixed this so-called issue in subsequent printers. Maybe so. If so, not a bad printer. The idea of refillable ink cartridges is, in fact, kind of eco-friendly. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful, and I'll see you next time. Yeah! <laughs>